everybody, if you're exactly like me, you are sick and tired of the media constantly shoving the narrative down our throats that the Packers hate Aaron Rodgers and they want him out of Green Bay. I'm here to tell you that is crap, brothers and sisters of Packer Nation. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. And I have three good reasons, three good reasons why the Green Bay Packers cannot and will not trade Aaron Rodgers in 2021 and possibly 2022. Starting off with the first of three reasons, number one is that he's still an elite player. Aaron's major stats right here, as you can see right in front of you, are they really speak for themselves on how Aaron has been able to play throughout the 2020 season, and in which he did win 2020 MVP with these numbers. And Aaron really had a resurgence in his second year under Matt LaFleur, and his this is probably going to be just the start. Of what Aaron can possibly do in year three and years and, and year four under Matt LaFleur and what the Packers are going to be able to do to be able to make a run for the Super Bowl. And just think to the critics of the Packers front office, and he did this without a first round receiver like people have told the Packers to do. The second reason why Aaron won't be traded in 21 or 22 is his contract. And these numbers here from overthecap.com explain the pretty big reasons why it would be a very, very unwise decision for the Packers to part ways with Aaron Rodgers are based off of these numbers here. Starting off with the 2021 contract is where he's going to get a 14.7 uh, million in base. And then you have a cap hit of 37 of 37 million and some change left over. Guaranteed money he got was the roster bonus that was just due a few weeks ago. And then he'll carry a dead cap of over 31 million in a pre-June trade. And then a post-June trade would be a lot better at 14 million and some change left over. Then for next year in 22, the base will, it will increase big time here, going up from 14.7 to 25 million, but then carrying a cap hit only of only of only a couple more million, and which there is no guaranteed money after this season the dead cap would be a little bit less substantial for a pre-June trade and a post-June trade would not make any difference. Regardless, the Packers should not part ways with Aaron Rodgers anytime soon with uh, 14 million over with over 14 million in dead money if the Packers were to trade him at any point is that that would be very very irresponsible for the Packers to do so and I believe that the Packers will not do that. And the third and final reason why Aaron Rodgers will not be traded is because Jordan Love is simply not ready yet to take over as the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Under year one, he was a healthy scratch and the number three quarterback behind Tim Boyle. And there is there was no preseason where he was able to showcase any bit of talent he had or, 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 or possibly exposing uh, some major fatal flaws in his game. Or the Packers will not be wanting to risk getting Jordan out there when he's raw and when he's underdeveloped with with uh, with no snaps under center in a preseason or regular season game that is not to the fault of the Green Bay Packers or Jordan the fact that he had that there was no preseason it was due to the COVID and all the restrictions that were that went on with this was simply a the, his his rookie year was simply a a true red shirt season where he was able to sit back practice and then just learn that was how it is. The Packers are going to slowly develop Jordan Love. And right now in year two, he is just simply not ready to go from a number three to a number one instantaneously. It just does not happen that way. The Packers are going to slowly develop him. He will be given plenty of time to develop. He will be, and he will be able to sit back and learn behind Aaron Rodgers for not one, but multiple seasons. This, it'll probably most likely be two or three. But Jordan Love will certainly not be uh, the Packers starting quarterback in 21 and possibly not even for 2022. If those three reasons aren't enough to convince you that the Packers are not going to keep Aaron Rodgers for, a one, for at least one more season, possibly two more, and possibly beyond that, I have no idea what, it, what it's going to be able to take to convince you 
I believe that the Packers have Aaron Rodgers under contract through the 2023 season, and possibly beyond that, if Aaron continues to play at such a high level, where it's going to force the Packers to possibly trade Jordan Love away instead of Aaron to another football team. He remains the Green Bay Packers starter going into his 40s. He will sign an extension when the time is right. Like I said, if that is not enough to convince you, I don't know it will. And with all that said, I will catch you guys later. Go Pack Go.